Hey guys, Sloth here. Okay, so I wanted to make a really quick video for you guys on how to do the checking quest for Prapor and Extortionist for Skier. I know they're two of the really early quests. A lot of you guys have probably already done them at this point in the raid, but I'm not a big quest guy. I usually just jump in and start killing people, forget about the quests, and then realize, eh, I guess it's a little faster to level up if I go back and do them. So I'm a big visual guy. I like to see a run through a lot more than I like to just look at the maps and see a little picture. So I wanted to put it together for you guys. Um, hopefully it helps you guys. I don't know. We'll take a look at this thing together. Uh, the quests are all in customs, and basically you're gonna need the machinery key for Prapor's quest, which is checking, and then you're gonna need the unknown key for the extortionist, which is for skier. If you don't actually have it when you go into the raid, it spawns every single time on customs on this body over on the far left arrow. So we'll get straight into the run through. All right, now I got pretty lucky on my spawn for this one, so I'm right by the uh, construction site, so basically you're gonna run up to this construction site and what you're looking for is this tanker semi with the white cab. Right in there is where you're gonna go. So you've got your machinery key, you're gonna run up, you're gonna unlock the door right here. There's a little crate you need to jump up on and stand on, or at least I think it's easier, but anyway. Jump up there, you get that key, you make Prapor happy. Once you grab that watch, that's all you really need for the checking quest other than just to get out. So then I start making my way out for the exit and that's when it hit me. Two quests, one raid. Genius. But then I realized I don't have the unknown key. So flip a bitch, running back. Like I said, this key spawns every single time in this raid. What you have to do is run back a little bit behind this construction site. What you're looking for is this bush right here. There's a dead body in it. It spawns every single time. Loot it, grab the unknown key, and then we're going to run our way over to the shipping yard. Always be careful of this cheeky little bastard up here at the top, though. He seems to spite me all the damn time. Never kills me, but, you know, breaks my leg and just makes it annoying. So anyway, take that guy out. Haul your ass over to the shipping yard. And I will fast forward this so you guys don't have to watch me running. I'm also pretty damn positive there's a much faster way just to jump over into this section, but I never seem to make the jumps. I don't know if I'm just impaired or <laughs> what it may be, but uh, it's just not worth standing in the open jumping for me. So I'd rather just run along the wall. I feel like that's safer for some reason. But anyway, you go all the way around the wall. If you're like me, you have to walk. You can't just jump the wall. You come into this area, break in, and then we're gonna head back into the deep part of the shipping yard towards the gas station. Always be careful of scabs in this area. They always seem to get me from this, uh, like the train track section or that warehouse. I don't know why, I just, I never seem to see them and they always take a pot shot at me. Uh, disregard the terrible aim here. I promise I make up for it in a second. So anyways, what we're looking for is like a little portable shack. However, if you have a chance, one tap a guy like this. I promise, like I said, I would make up for the aim. Anyway, this is the shack that you're looking for. You're gonna run up to it, unlock it, be extremely exposed and clench tightly while you unlock this door. White when you walk in, underneath the jacket is what you're looking for, is this little docks case. Um, I, <laughs> I don't know why I struggle to grab this thing, but anyway, Grab this guy and just hightail your way out of here. That's really all there is to both these quests. You don't have to do them both in one raid. It's just very simple to do if you have the opportunity. The only reason I went for it, usually I would only do one and just try to get out because I'm very safe, but uh, I only had time for one game, so I was like, fuck it, let's go for it. And uh, yeah, thankfully it worked out. So anyway, I hope this helps you guys visually if you guys aren't playing the quest or if you're a new player. I hope it kind of gives you a good visual layout of the map and what you're looking for so you can run through and tag both of these. Um, it's They're really quick quests, but anyway, I hope it was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a quick little video. If you guys can, hit like, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see in the future. I like putting these little tutorials together. I haven't done one in a little bit, so I'm sorry about that. Just got kind of busy with work. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed it, like I said, hit the like, the subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see in the future, and thanks for your time.